Hello everyone, I am doing a journaling by fives um, video today um, and I am playing with 20 cards. Uh, you know my favorite size, it's seven and a half by 12 and I set my timer at 15 minutes and I'm using acrylic paints to create quick backgrounds. In this video I get to step three I think and then I turn it into a little booklet with a hidden uh, hidden by hidden hidden hinge binding difficult word so um i'm going to show you that as well so we complete this little tiny booklet in this video you see that i use my fingers to put some paint down on my papers and then i take a blank paper and put it on top of my um uh paper that i just did Sorry, I, <laughs> I'm rambling. So you see, you get a very nice uh, impression. It's like a kind of a mono printing idea. So just press uh, your painted piece on top of a non-painted piece and you get a very, very nice result. It was a bit of a challenge for me because I wanted to leave as, lot, uh, as much um, white as I could. Um, that's not easy, you know that, but uh, I think that this method uh, just works fine to create easy backgrounds with a lot of white. So uh, I had several minutes left, I think. Uh, normally 15 minutes is for A5 size or even bigger, but I really didn't mind. Um, I just used the time that was left. I think I did 26 minutes, so I chose to um, go and visit them all again and put some paint on them again. So just, and then a little paint on one and then press it on the other ones, just <laughs> back and forth. So you create very nice patterns. I really dislike the red one. Uh, you see in the end it does turn out better, but I don't like red color. Don't use it that often and hmm, you see six minutes left. So just revisiting them again and I decided to use the leftover paints for bigger sheets so this is A4 and later I use even bigger uh, don't know if I taped that but you see just put paint on with your fingers press down the paper and you get a really beautiful impression um, and I do several of them in the six minutes that I had left so in total I made about 20 um, of the small ones and 10 of these large ones so it's doable and I got very nice papers to create little uh, tiny journals with but that will be in the next video or two videos I don't know which video I will uh, upload next week so that's what I'm doing with leftover paint because we don't waste don't we do we so um just showing you what I do and use my fingers. No brush, no sponge, no nothing. My hands were so filthy. So I took uh, a photo of it and I placed it on Instagram because I think there's nothing more uh, greater than have paint on your hands and create beautiful things. You see, 19 seconds left and I created all these papers and the 20 smaller ones. So a lot of nice things left and you see those um, large white papers underneath here. And that's what I used uh, as well. So for the, the left leftovers <laughs> that I uh, had. So just quickly assemble them they do stick together because well you should spread them out but i don't have that much space around me so um now i started step two and in my book step two is stamping um i chose a few background stamps that's the challenge what i did uh, as well for myself so i think three or four little background stamps that was the max that i would uh, use and I do the same with the uh, stencils uh, later. Uh, for this step, I, I think I didn't do 15 minutes. I even cut it shorter because, well, 20, uh, 15 minutes is way too long for stamping uh, 20 little tiny pages. 
So just uh, here and there, I use a Mark's stamp. So yeah, I think I did se seven minutes. Now, just showing you what I've got so far. You see the stamps are pretty much the same on every sheet, but place them in a different way and it looks quite nice. Now, step three in my book, because everyone has the, their own order of doing the steps. So and now I'm cho choosing these uh, Crafters Workshop doodle stamps, uh, stencils. Uh, I chose two of them and a uh, numbers stencil. So limiting myself again and just do it quickly. Seven minutes I did again. Um, this was a bit difficult because you still want to make it look pretty. I don't know um, how that's possible, but I'm overthinking it a little bit too much. So that's why I put it on seven minutes. So. Restricting. This is the, the the ugly red one. Yuck. So just choosing a little bit of blue, I think, or another color. Didn't really like it, but I did put it in the book. I used uh, all 20 uh, pages for the little booklet that we are going to make in just a short while. Just showing you the play. It looks gorgeous, isn't it? I do think so. Just a little bit dark. And the stamping on this one didn't go that well, but hey, really don't mind. And while I was doing this, I was already thinking of which um, page that would go on the front and back of my little booklet. I love this large number stencil. It's from uh, Donna Downey, I believe. I really have something with... Um, number stencils I like them so now don't know I might have shown every piece that I did don't know why didn't cut it didn't edit it that's what I wanted to say so a little bit of gold here and there this is a gold from a local hardware store I'm just going to fetch it it's called Lucas Cryle Studio. It's, I think it might be a German brand. It was very cheap. Someone pointed it out to me. Yes, it's a German one. Lucas.eu. It's, uh, you get 75 mils for two euro something. So it's quite cheap got lovely colors is a good pigmentation and it's not that fluid so it's not heavy body either but it's somewhere in between and you can see it has bright and good pigmentation in the, in the paint and I like that for a nice price well now I think I'm almost at the end just uh, doodling here and there this might be the last one I don't know I hope it yeah I hope <laughs> it was. So show you, I don't know if I show you, no, I don't. So um, show you just a few papers that I made. Oh, this is the what I was trying to figure out for the binding and um, for the hidden hinge binding. So um, you just measure out the, the spaces in between the pages uh, are um, five, no? Uh, a half a centimeter you could choose to make it even smaller but that's how I um, measured it I need two centimeters for one hinge so um, to fold and then half a centimeter space to uh, centimeters for a hinge half a centimeter space and so on and so on and then I just mark it with my pencil you could use your um, score, um, how do you call it? Well, whatever you like to do it, I don't know. I just uh, measure it because I think that's easy for me. And uh, you see, it's a bit, a bit hard to explain, but Katy Ortha, she is a really good um, mini album creator. Um, I, I use this, this um, stack the deck hinge in, in this one. Um, a lot of times just search for hidden hinge binding and you'll find it 
I ju this is the way I fold it. I just um, take those hidden hinges, the t two centimeter ones, and I fold them. And then I fold the spaces in between as well. It's difficult to explain. I'm sorry for that. I, I did use my scoreboard, of course. Now, putting tape on the hinges. You don't need to put tape on the spaces in between, so the half centimeter marks. And this way, just pre-fold it, and then it's easy to do. Use your bone folder to glue it down together quite well. You see, it's kind of like a harmonica idea. I just sped this up. I, I left it in, but I sped this up, and you can just search for that uh, video of her and this is how it looks. I forgot to tape the gluing down of the pages but um, it's quite easy. This is the, the last one so the front and the back cover and you just glue it down on one side of the hinge and then the other one on the other side of the hinge and then glue the, paste, um, the papers together. So I use a lot of uh, tape on one page and just one on the other. Uh, you see it, what I'm doing. Use a good quality tape because you don't want it to come loose. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just gluing it down there. And then I'm gluing the other one on top of that one. And that's what you do on each and every hinge. And then you've got a nice little booklet. So uh, we have to do steps uh, three and four. I'll do them later, uh, but I thought it was nice to show you these little booklets. The spaces are quite big. A half a centimeter is big, but uh, I'm not sure I'm go what I'm going to do with it. You can just do three millimeters or something. That will be just fine, but I think it's a nice way to use up your papers. This was just a little play. Don't have anything in mind with the little booklet. So measuring the back, uh, so I need a nice way to finish that. Now it looks ugly. Taking the same paper that I use for the hinges and I'm just measuring and see what it will look like. So it's five centimeters, so it was quite easy. Or six, don't know. Well you have to uh, count all the five uh, half centimeters so and then you get to the measurement you need just and this is it everyone so i hope you like this little painting exercise and making of a booklet and i thank you for watching and i will see you next time again bye 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 bye